The evolution of cartography, mapping our world through time. Maps, they guide us, inspire us, and help us make sense of our world. But how did we get from early hand-drawn maps to the sophisticated digital maps we have today? Join us as we delve deep into the fascinating evolution of cartography, the art and science of map making. The Early Beginnings of Cartography Our journey begins with the earliest known maps, dating back to around 2300 BCE. These Babylonian clay tablets represented the world in a very limited and rudimentary way, focusing primarily on local topography and landmarks. Ancient Egyptian maps, such as those found in the tomb of Merer from the 14th century BCE, depicted settlements, temples, and other significant locations along the Nile River. In the 6th century BCE, the Greek philosopher and scholar Anaximander developed the concept of a map as a visual representation of the Earth's surface. Several centuries later, other Greek cartographers like Hecateus and Ptolemy made significant contributions to map making. Hecateus, known for his Periodos Ges, or Journey Round the World, created a world map that marked important cities, rivers, and other geographical features. Ptolemy, in his seminal work Geographia, compiled coordinates for over 8,000 locations and developed the concepts of latitude and longitude, which remain fundamental to map making even today. During the Middle Ages, maps took on a religious and symbolic nature. The Mappa Mundi, or world maps, represented the known world in a highly stylized manner, with Jerusalem often at the center, and limited geographical accuracy. These maps were used as much for religious teachings as for navigation. The Renaissance brought about the rise of portal and charts, which featured compass roses and rum lines. These charts, created by mariners for mariners, were accurate representations of coastlines and harbors, and proved crucial for maritime navigation. The oldest surviving portal and chart the Carta Pisana dates back to the late 13th century. The age of exploration in the 15th and 16th centuries marked a turning point in cartography. As European explorers set sail to discover new lands, they needed more accurate maps to guide them. The development of the printing press further fueled the demand for maps as they could now be produced and distributed more easily. From the 17th to the 19th centuries, map making saw numerous innovations. Gerardus Mercator, a Flemish cartographer, introduced the Mercator projection in 1569, which allowed for accurate navigation using straight lines on a map. This projection became the standard for nautical charts and is still widely used today. Triangulation a method for determining the position of points by measuring angles between known points was developed by Dutch mathematician Willebrod Snell in the early 17th century. This technique greatly improved the accuracy of maps and laid the groundwork for modern surveying methods. In the 18th century, French cartographer Philippe Boache introduced contour lines, which represent areas of equal elevation on a map. This innovation allowed for a more accurate representation of terrain making it easier to visualize and understand the Earth's surface. In 1791, the Ordnance Survey was established in Great Britain to create detailed and accurate topographic maps for military and civilian use. The survey's pioneering work in cartography, such as the development of the Cassini projection and the use of large-scale maps, had a lasting impact on the field. The 20th century brought aerial photography into the mix, further refining map accuracy. In the early 1900s, the use of balloons and airplanes for aerial surveying allowed cartographers to obtain bird's eye views of the landscape, which could then be translated into maps. During both world wars, the demand for up-to-date maps for military planning and operations led to rapid advancements in mapping technologies. Today, we rely on satellites and geographic information systems, or GIS, to create detailed and accurate maps. The launch of the first satellite, 
1957 in 1957 marked the beginning of the satellite mapping era. Since then, satellites have become indispensable tools for remote sensing, meteorology, and communication. GIS, on the other hand, is a powerful computer-based tool that allows for the collection, storage, analysis, and visualization of geographic data. Developed in the 1960s, GIS has revolutionized cartography and has wide-ranging applications from urban planning and environmental management to emergency response and public health. With the advent of the Internet, online mapping platforms like Google Maps and OpenStreetMap have made cartographic information more accessible than ever. These tools have transformed how we access and interact with maps, allowing us to obtain directions, explore new places, and even virtually travel the world with just a few clicks. Virtual and augmented reality are pushing the boundaries of cartography even further. Google Earth VR lets users explore the world in an immersive 3D environment, while AR mapping apps overlay digital information onto the physical world, creating new possibilities for navigation, tourism, and education. Finally, crowdsourcing is democratizing map making, empowering individuals to contribute to cartographic data. Platforms like OpenStreetMap rely on the collective efforts of volunteers to create accurate and up-to-date maps. While this trend has its challenges, such as ensuring data quality and dealing with vandalism, it also holds the potential for a more connected and accurate map of our world. From Babylonian clay tablets to advanced satellite imagery, the art and science of cartography have come a long way. Maps have shaped our understanding of the world, and they will continue to do so as we explore new frontiers. So the next time you look at a map, Take a moment to appreciate the rich history and innovation behind it and let it inspire you to discover more about our incredible planet. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the evolution of cartography. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content on history, geography, and other interesting topics. Your support helps us keep creating content that explores the incredible stories and knowledge that shapes our world. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.